Overall, when most people describe what colorblindness is, what they're saying is you assign no differential values to people based on race, the color of their skin, and of course everything else that goes along with that. The problem we run into in the political arena is that usually the pushback on us making the, dis the disaggregation around issues of race, ethnicity, the color, and so forth, is when we're talking about creating or providing some solutions. I'll give you an example. We got into a fight on Capitol Hill some years ago over the issue of whether we would disaggregate data in the juvenile justice system. Right now, we have a process in which, and policies that say that we have to keep track of who's in the system based on their race, ethnicity, gender, point of national origin, other issues that are important to making sure that our criminal justice system is, is working and acting in a fair and non-discriminatory way. We had members of the Senate that went to the floor. We were actually reauthorizing the uh, juvenile justice bill. And what they said was is that we want to take out the provisions in which we keep a track of who's in a system based on race. We want a colorblind society. Well, the problem for us is that we know that we have a really pro problematic and troubling history of racial discrimination in this country, where we know that African-American boys are more likely to get locked up for the same crimes that white American boys are not getting locked up for. We know that African-American girls are one of the fastest growing um, populations in our criminal justice system. But we know that because we disaggregate the data and keep track of it. You can't keep track of that if you can't count it, if you can't take into consideration those differentials. Now, that should make a difference, quite frankly, if we didn't have discrimination. Uh, but as long as we do, we need to make sure that we're keeping track of what it is so that we can craft a strategy to address those disparities in law as well. So in essence, we get to push back whenever we raise those issues in a manner in which we want to utilize resources to actually correct the problem. And they will argue that we be they believe that disaggregating that data by race perpetuates racial discrimination. It just means that what we're saying is if we're ignorant to the challenges and the problems, then there's no reason to address it. So you treat every issue of police brutality as an anomaly. You treat every issue of racial discrimination in employment as just something that happened to that one person. So you can't keep track of the patterns. You can't keep track of what's going on overall for folks and whatnot.